Josh Diekman versus Raphael Butler uh, showed us two things about Raphael Butler. Number one, how he deals with aggression. Diekman started aggressive, trying to push Butler back to make him defensive, to get him on his heels. What Raphael Butler did that was so impressive was he stayed focused, he stayed composed, he didn't get overwhelmed by a big guy coming at him early. And number two, he got a guillotine choke. Holding the guillotine position, elevating Diekman. Look at the power in that guillotine. And there is the tap. He's not known for his submission game. Standing guillotines are not easy to finish. You have to know exactly how to tighten it up. You have to know how to put your hips and chest into the submission. He kept the pressure on and he knew when to commit his energy. Spending just enough to get the tap showed good intelligence. So what I learned in that fight against Diekman is he has those submission skills in his back pocket. If you screw up and give Raphael Butler positioning, he can finish you.